Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the Radio Diddy GA2S UHF walkie talkie. Now these are sold as legal to use out of the box, but here's the frequencies that they actually transmit on out of the box 454. 455, 402, 435, 468. Okay. So, these 454 boom frequencies, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, these are the old radio telephone frequencies. Um, they also were used for air-to-ground phones, you know, the phones in the back of the seats on, on planes back in the day. Um, now they're used for land mobile for business radio service. 455 is used by uh, broadcast stations for um, IFB, you know, the headsets at sporting events, um, queuing, uh, audio feed, control, uh, you, you need a license to transmit on these frequencies. This frequency is a uh, telemetry frequency used by the federal government. So you don't have authorization to transmit on 402.125 megahertz. 435.55 is within the 70 centimeter ham radio band. So you need a license to transmit on this frequency as well. And 468.950 is a uh, another business frequency. Um, it would either be um, a simplex frequency or it would be the repeater input for a repeater operating on 463.95 minus 5 megahertz. So none of these 16 frequencies are legal to use without a license. It's a violation of federal law. I'm going to say that again. It's a violation of federal law to use these radios out of the box to transmit on them. Fines are pretty steep. There's really no point. It's not worth it because you can get yourself a programming cable. Oops. Looks like that. Download a software program called Chirp. And you'll notice that this says Baofeng BF888. Well, I thought this was a, a Radio Diddy GA2S. No, it's actually a Baofeng BF888 in a different box. So is this radio. Also a Baofeng BF888 in a different box. So we're going to show... Just a moment here. Let me put this down. First, you need to download Chirp, get a programming cable, how to program these radios without violating federal law. So the first thing you need to do is plug in the um, programming cable. And there is a way to do this with a smartphone using Bluetooth. So those are also out there. Um, the second thing that you're going to need to do is reprogram the radio itself. Um, so I'm just going to do this manually just to show you. Uh, we can also turn off the voice prompt. Um, we can turn off scan, unless you want the voice prompt. I, I would turn off Vox. I can leave beep on. Uh, squelch level, you could probably drop that down to two or one. Side key function, monitor is a good one. Timeout, timer. Um, this function limits the amount of time that you can make for a transmission before it cuts you off. So uh, usually it's good to set it at like a 120 seconds, which is two minutes, or 180 seconds, which is three minutes. That's fine. Don't turn it off. Um, so what you want to do to do this without a license is to program in the FRS frequencies of which there are 22 to choose from. 
So we can actually, let me see here, import from stock config. Let's see, so chirp actually has the FRS frequencies in it, so let's just try that. Or maybe I broke it. Okay, so here's the FRS frequencies. Um, And then the GMRS frequency is listing, the, listing these as separate. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just do FRS 1 through 16. Uh, another option is to do FRS 1 through 7. Actually, yeah, we'll just do FRS 1 through 16 for now. Okay, import, boom. All right, so now if now channels 1 through 16 will be FRS channels 1 through 16. If you're going to be using these for any kind of purpose where you don't want interference, you want to set up a uh, tone squelch, or what an FRS handheld would call a uh, privacy code. Um, so you see here where it says tone mode, and then you've got tone, T squell, T T C S. Um, tone just means that you're transmitting a tone squelch, but you will hear any activity on the channel. So um, it, it doesn't really do much to reduce interference, and you can do a you know a control A if you've used a computer in the last twenty years. And then you can go to properties and say we'll do tone mode, tone squelch, tone, um, or actually, excuse me, tone squelch. So these values here probably are kind of confusing. So 67 is code one or tone one. So you don't want to use that one. Um, pick a random one. You know, there's a whole list out there of ones to avoid on specific channels. Uh, we're just going to do 167.9. Hit OK. Uh, so now, um, and just to put it into perspective, um, see that's tone 25, 26. That's tone number 27 or code number 27 on an FRS radio. Um, so now when you write this programming to the radios, it's not going to talk to, um, it's not going to open the squelch, I should say, unless the transmission is preceded with the, you know, has the correct tone. The same thing is true for, uh, DTCS or DCS, which is what it's really called. There's a lot more DCS codes to work with. Like, look at that. So, you know, I, I'm fine with, with, with CTCSS. Don't do this cross thing. Just do t squell or CTCSS or, um, or DCS. And all the radios need to be set to the same uh, tone or code in order for them to uh, talk to each other. This value, where it says mode, um, for FRS purposes, it needs to be set to NFM, not FM, NFM for narrow FM. Power, low. Again, this is for FRS purposes if you don't have a GMRS license. You can reorder these frequencies to any order you like. Um, the most popular ones are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that means that 8 through 14 are less likely to have activity on them. So you could make, you know, FRS 14 channel 1 on your set of radios, your fleet of radios, uh, and then use a, a 
you know, non default out of the box tone, um, and you shouldn't have an issue. Uh, the best way to figure out what's active in your area is to listen. Um, for example, I know in my area there's a group of uh, folks who do like building, you know, engineering maintenance or whatever, and they run 159.8 on channel FRS channel 7, which is 467, correction, 462, 7125. So I'm not going to use 159.8. I'll use a different one. I also can tell you that these are the default codes for the, um, the you know, the Retivas FRS radios. So if you want your radios to be able to talk um, to those radios out of the box, it needs to match uh, these codes. And um, yeah, so channel four is 131. And there's a list of, of these uh, online, the default ones. Um, I think six is... Forty-one, three, yeah. and then they have. Uh, well, I think six. They actually have programmed as four six two point six two five, which is actually FRS channel eighteen with one twenty-seven dot three. And then this is actually programmed as 462.725 with 136.5, which is actually FRS channel 22. So it's kind of silly how they have this set up like that, but that's just how they did it. Don't ask me why. Actually, I, I do know why, but that's another story. Um, they did it to match the original Baofeng uh, 888 S programming, which uh, was 462125, 462225462325, 462325, 462425, and you guessed it, 462625 and 462725. So these two, 462625, 462725, that's why it's out of sequence. But these are the... Um, for one, two, three, four, five, anyway, uh, these are the um, the default, 67, 118, 127.3, 131.8, 136.5. Um, they just made channel. They just kind of put this out of order, but that's okay. Uh, that's another for another video. So, control A, and we're going to change the... Um, the usually the factory default is 67 for a lot of radios. That's code number one. Um, so avoid that. And then uh, once this is, you know, if you've got it mapped out how you want to do it, and uh, you can um, program other radios in your fleet, like your Baofeng BF8888, or your other, you know, radios like your ArcShell AR5, um, to match whatever channel plane you end up using. And then uh, plug in your programming cable, make sure the radio is turned on, go to radio, upload to radio, make sure the port is the it, it should default to the correct one. Uh, vendor is Baofeng. Model is BF888. Again, I know this is not a Baofeng BF888, but that's what it really is. It's the same firmware. It's the same chip. Uploading to radio. Done. All right? Unplug. Make sure to be very violent with your radio. Go to the next radio.
make sure that the radio is turned on. The connector is properly seated. Radio, upload to radio. This will all stay the same. Okay, the light will flash, done. Unplug. And here's your other radio. This is um, advertised <clears throat> as walkie talkie uh, for adults with Scrambler, which is, uh, it's actually the uh, Luton or Luiton uh, LT458, which I've already made some videos about. But surprise, surprise, it's also the same thing as a Radio Diddy, Radio Diddy GA2S or a Baofeng BF8888. Look at that. Uploading the radio. Done. Oh my god. Okay. So now come on. I'm gonna see if these things talk to each other. Alright, so we're going to channel one, two. Radio check, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that, but. See that? Channel 3, FRS 3, and then there's your tone, 167.9 that we programmed in. Radio check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, just again for demonstration's sake. Sorry, I'm... Uh, We'll just do the default. Okay, so we're, uh, we've got this uh, Baofeng on UV or on FRS channel three. Notice how the green lights light up showing there's receive. But there's nothing coming out of the speaker. Radio check, radio check. Because it's not transmitting the correct tone. Because like I said before, I was transmitting the default tone, which for channel three would be, if you were paying attention earlier, 118.8. Hello, hello, why doesn't it talk? Oh no. Radio check. Radio check one, two, three, four. Radio. Whoopsies. Radio check one, two, three, radio check. Check one, two, three, four, radio check, FRS channel three. So that's pretty much it. It takes not very long to do this with a lot of radios, um, a whole fleet of them, you could say. And uh, it, you, then you're not violating federal law. And I'll upload another video a little bit later showing how to do it for folks who have a GMRS license, if you want to set it up with a repeater, etc. Thank you for watching. The Break Your Radio, I mean the Radio Diddy, Radio Diddy, <laughs> GA2S, how to program and use this radio without violating federal law and risking tens of thousands of dollars in fines and confiscation of all your equipment. Have a nice day.